Welcome back Filmholics, my name is Gok Henrik and in this show you find anything and everything filmmaking. So if you guys want more of that, consider subscribing, but let's go on with today's video. Today I show you guys 5 of my favorite accessories to use for the Sony A5000. And accessory number 1 is going to be something grey. For me, I bought a grey film case so that I could use it. Now why something grey? The reason for this is actually because you're able to customize white balance constantly with your camera by using something grey. Also, if you're filming something and you forgot to change the white balance and then you go in post and you use a little droplet thing on this to fix the white balance, it does that. So this just allows you to have a lot less headaches just to have something grey. It could be a bracelet like Jared Undone uses. I use my phone because I always have my phone. And now for accessory number two. Wait, it's a little too dark, but that's because of accessory number two, a variable ND filter. See? It gets darker and lighter. Don't understand it, don't want to know how that works, but I love it. It's so useful, especially if you live somewhere like a desert that's just all sunlight all the time and it's always so bright and you can't really go in magic hour all, to, all the time because you have work, you have other things in your life to do, so you want to film anyway. Variable ND filter will make it so that your footage can look a little bit darker, not severely overexposed. It's very, very useful and I absolutely think this is like a must have. Accessory number three, let me think, what was it? It's this, an L bar. And this is like a very simplistic accessory. I mean, it's self-explanatory. It's mainly just to stabilize a very light and shaky camera. So now you can have a lot more stable shots if you're not using a gimbal, of course, but I'm just saying accessories just to have on hand. And this will always allow you to have a little bit more stability, especially with my next thing. But this just allows a lot more versatility, especially since you have two hot shoe plates right here. So if you want to put a light and a mic right there, you can do that. And it just allows you to do so much. And I absolutely live by this thing. I always put it on like my phone gimbal or my uh, A5000. It's just, it allows you to do so much more with just this. And now for accessory number four, that's going to be this. And what this is, is a Peak Design quick release strap. And what this allows you to do is just snap a camera on almost immediately whenever you want, unless it's already on there and snap it right off. Another thing straps can do is that it can do gimbal movements with the L bar and your camera pushing against it. And you can have more fluid movements, more stable movements, less shaky. And this is very important for something that's like a light camera. The straps are also a flashy way to make it very convenient to hide your camera or to put your camera back in your bag and you just have the straps on your neck. It's just a very useful thing to have every day. And if you're gonna be somebody who uses your camera every day, honestly, it's a must have also for me. And now for the last accessory, that's going to be this. I use a Manfrotto Pixie. Why? Because it's so convenient, it's so low profile, and I absolutely love that. And it's just a one button activation to be able to tilt the cat the top plate. I don't know what to call that. But yeah, it's just super easy to use and it locks immediately right when you're done pressing that button. It's so useful. And the reason for this is well, do I even have to say why? I mean like having something like this with you with your camera every day whenever you're filming is just a staple now just because of Casey Neistat when he was doing daily vlogs. So I mean, there you go. The fact that he uses something similar to this, which I also have, but I personally don't feel like I like that much. It's just too bulky and I prefer this, especially since I like more fluid shots. So I use the straps, this and the L bar and it just makes a stable, awesome thing. A little home base basically. So for me, Manfrotto Pixie. And there you go, my five favorite accessories for the Sony A5000. If you guys want to check them out, go ahead and check the links down in the description below. It will also have all the gear I use to make all my videos. And if you guys want to check out more A5000 videos, go ahead and check this playlist right up here. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe and dream on.